We've watched delighted oh. as Jack and Danny fall in love inside the four walls of the Love Island Villa. Glued you've been, haven't yeah, you? We were indeed, but then there was a worry about how things would progress. Will yes. their relationship survive on the outside? And what do Jack's friends and family really think of their romance? We're joined now by his best friend and He's boss so at the pen company, <laughs> probably one of them called stationery company, Dane Goodson, and his girlfriend, Casey Batchelor, who is in Celebrity Big Brother, of course. Plus, Richard is here too. Good Which morning. Which we're excited about. To Not me, obviously, clearly, but this is as close as we've got to the truth about Jack and Daddy, right? Yeah, so come on then. What, you know, what are you making of it? Because you must be watching as intrigued as the rest of it. You know, is it genuine? Is it going to last? It's 100% genuine. He's, Jack wears his heart on yeah. his sleeve, doesn't he? He's, uh, oh. he's, he's definitely he, falling for Danny. He really wanted to meet someone going in there. He said, yeah. I really want to meet someone. That's what he said. When he, when he comes to approach me about it, he said, back going on, he said, obviously, it'd be the time of his life. But he's massively said, I want to meet someone, I want to find someone. Was it so. Danny in particular he wanted to meet, though? Because we understand oh, that yeah. he was a bit of a fan of her dad, <laughs> and that might be one reason why he made a beeline for her. I don't think he's... Uh, Did he know who she was? I don't know. I don't. Oh, I, don't I mean, it's a bit of a clue. Danny died. I didn't know she was going. I don't know if, if you knew. Well, I, I don't know. It was in the press, but obviously they're in hiding, aren't they? So they. But he did have a poster on his wall, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, it was. It's not. Is that right? It's not a massive poster. It was. It was. Uh, what was it? It's, it's the business. Yeah, not, it was the business. It's it was not a shrine. Yeah, it wasn't a shrine. Yeah, it was only about this big. Because no it's... girl wants to be loved because they got a famous dad. No, but he don't. It's not. It's not because of his dad. Yeah, he he's really into Danny. Massively. It, it did nearly get derailed, the great love story last night, yes. didn't it? Following the lie detector test. So yes. he did very well on lots of the answers, but oh, no. when asked if he'd be tempted by other what? girls outside, um, he said, yes, he might be. And she was, she not, was not happy. No. She was not happy about it. I mean, no so woman wants to hear that, no, do no, they? No, that no, your partner might be tempted. But I, mean. I, I think she might have been a little bit harsh on him. You know, he said he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her, have children with her. He loved her. Yeah. So I think, I think Danny's just so worried already about what's going to happen if Jack does anything outside. But I don't think she should worry about that. I think she should enjoy it and yeah. chill out a bit more. And but... Jack needs to stop saying, it's not happened yet. Yeah, you can say, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not rained yet. You do get all sorts of insights, it has to be said, don't you, watching? Because it must be interesting for you, because obviously you gave Jack his job as the yes. pen salesman, as he describes <laughs> himself. We do sell a lot more than pens. Have you, have <laughs> have you shifted a lot of pens? We've done a lot of pens. Lot gone for the roof. <laughs> gone for the roof. We've got we've got um, some film here of exactly when he was talking about his sales pitch. So let's have a watch of uh, how he describes what he does in his job. Hello, is the person around who deals with like your office supplies and your station stuff down there? Are they around at all? Yeah, yeah. Let me let me put you on. To, her name's Kazmir. Okay. Um, she she deals with all of our. Is she as nice um, as you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm alright in thinking you're the person that deals with like the office supplies, the stationery, purchase stuff like that. Is that is that right or? I am, but we're not actually looking... Look, first of all, look, I'm not here to, to, to waste your time. So, look, what I want to say to you, look, any price you've got, I can take off at least 15%. I'll fix it for you as well. Yeah. I'll tell you the reason, Kaz, right? The reason we do this, and I don't really tell many people this, is that we're actually directly partnered up with two of Europe's biggest wholesalers. So, essentially, we've got the cheapest cost price in the whole of the UK. So, he's giving it all the banter, <laughs> but he then admits he completely made well, that up. Were you a bit worried about sales? We are actually partnered up with two of the biggest wholesalers in Europe. <laughs> and he went, oh, no, we're not really. All the sales guys in the office going, what is he doing to our pitch? It's <laughs> 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 true. But he he has got the gift of the gab. Oh, you're quite massive. impressed when you saw that. Yeah, I was. Yeah, he's, he's definitely got a gift. Well, it's there. a proper twinkler, isn't it? It's why the nation's fallen in love with them, I think. Oh, they yeah, really buy into it. So, hold on, you're missing one of your star people then at work. He's one, one of our biggest sales guys, yeah. He's, uh, he's yeah. doing a good job for you in the Yeah, villa, he's doing a great job. Yeah, that's right. yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. putting in the hours there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, is he the person that you know in real life in there? Because I think it's strange watching people that must be very strange watching people you know in there. Particularly as we watch it, it all seems otherworldly. Everyone's beautiful, the sun is shining, it's all gorgeous. Mm. Do you think, no, that's our, that's our man. That's exactly Jack, exactly. Yeah. You, you think, you, you yeah, know, exactly. It's, it's exactly the same. Yeah, exactly the same. And it's funny, like, because um, I think they, they're they very similar, Dane and Jack, because Jack and Dane are a bit like, you're like brothers kind of thing, aren't you? Like, yeah, yeah. You're like a bit of a big brother. And when they had their little tiff the other night, I was like, that's exactly how Dane argues with me. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly the same. So, listen, are you, Casey, are you kind of, you know, getting hats in mind for a potential wedding at oh, some point? Oh, you never know. You uh, never know. I mean, <clears throat> I'm waiting first, but... 
Dana, I seem to have a problem with my pen. It's it's just run out. We sold them all. Look at you've got all that. I could do with a gig with this company, to be quite honest. I wouldn't go ask the DMG and we'll get some pens in that. Thanks very much. We'll be with them now. To see you anyway, and we're hoping that they'll they'll come out and they'll be the golden couple. We'll wait. Well, let's see. Remotely underwhelmed about the fact that you're giving us free pens, mate. <laughs> I'm Brilliant. really excited by it. I like a red pen. Do you red know those? Pen. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've got red pens. Any pens. All sorted, look. We appreciate <laughs> it. The deal's done. Thanks no, very no much for coming in.